Chris Jones is undeniably a cornerstone of the Kansas City Chiefs defense, a player whose impact is felt across every snap. As one of the most pivotal figures on the team, Jones's presence and performance are critical to the Chiefs' success. Recently, however, fans have been left anxious due to his absence from practice, raising questions about his health and readiness for the upcoming season. It's impossible to overstate Chris Jones's importance to the Kansas City Chiefs. There's a reason why Chiefs general manager Brett Veach pulled out the checkbook for yet another contract extension for the veteran defensive tackle and added a significant number of zeros to the final total. For a team willing to watch so many others walk, think Charvarius Ward, Jarius Sneed, et al. Re-upping Jones was a no-brainer this offseason. He's just that important. From his ability to dominate an entire offensive front to the way he opens up the game for others to the lack of talent behind him on the depth chart, Jones is essential to the Chiefs for myriad reasons. This is why the Chiefs must play things as safe and as patiently as possible for the rest of the preseason after putting forth the slightly alarming news that Jones is dealing with a sore groin. On Sunday, the Chiefs practiced without Jones in the heart of the defensive front and fans were wondering why they didn't see one of their favorite players in action. While it's frustrating to miss such an appearance, Andy Reid explained to reporters following practice that Jones was dealing with a sore groin. We'll see. I know he was messing with you guys, but he does have a groin there. I mean, we all have groins, but he has a sore groin, said Reid. This is exactly the sort of tricky injury news that's difficult to parse on the outside looking in, but it can also be difficult even for those in Arrowhead. Groin injuries can linger unexpectedly and Chiefs fans only need to look back to last year to see how ineffective a groin injury can make someone. Last year alone, Jarek McKinnon and Mechel Hardman both dealt with groin injuries that lasted for several weeks. Right now, the Chiefs have more than a full month before they have to suit up to host the Baltimore Ravens at Arrowhead Stadium. While it would be nice to have Jones back before then in time to develop better chemistry with his teammates and be in shape for the road ahead, nothing is worse aggravating an injury that could remain a cloud over the team's best defensive player when it matters most. With the regular season fast approaching, the Chiefs are faced with a delicate situation, balancing the need for Jones's return to full fitness with the urgency of preseason preparations. As the team navigates this challenge, fans and analysts alike will be watching closely, hoping that this minor setback doesn't turn into a lingering issue for their defensive linchpin. The coming weeks will be crucial in determining how ready Jones will be to anchor the defense once the games start to count.